Thank you for joining us as we learn about proper administration of several common seizure rescue medications. Prolonged tonic-clonic seizures or clusters of shorter seizures left untreated can sometimes lead to status epilepticus. Status epilepticus is a seizure that lasts for five minutes or longer or multiple seizures back to back without returning to a normal level of consciousness within a five minute period. Treatment within three to five minutes can often stop this from happening and help prevent permanent brain damage or death. You may prevent a trip to the emergency room if you treat seizures early by following your child's seizure emergency medication protocol provided by your doctor. VNS or vagus nerve stimulation therapy is a surgical option for those who have drug-resistant epilepsy. VNS therapy begins with a short outpatient procedure where a small device or generator is surgically implanted usually in the upper left chest below the collarbone for persons four years of age and older. The goal of VNS therapy is to prevent seizures before they start and help stop them if they do. The implanted device in your chest has a thin connected wire, which is threaded up the neck where it attaches to the vagus nerve leading to the brain. This device is wirelessly programmed by your neurologist to activate and provide intermittent stimulation to your brain at regular intervals throughout the day, all day, in an effort to prevent seizures. In some models, 106 and 1000, an auto-stim mode is also programmed to detect a rapid increase in heart rate and automatically delivers an extra dose of stimulation therapy to help prevent further seizures. One of the added benefits of VNS therapy is the magnet mode. The magnet mode provides the ability to use the VNS therapy magnet to manually deliver an extra dose of stimulation in the case of a breakthrough seizure. Today, we will demonstrate how to use the VNS therapy magnet safely to manually deliver an additional dose of therapy aimed to stop, shorten, or decrease the intensity of a breakthrough seizure. VNS therapy comes with two identical magnets that are provided along with a wristband. If the magnet is worn, it must be worn with the magnet on the inside of the person's wrist should they need to use it themselves. It is important to keep the magnet in a handy place and know where it is at all times if it is not worn by the person, so it's available when a seizure occurs. The location of the magnet must always be confirmed every time a person moves between settings, support persons, or is transported. Make sure to always have the VNS therapy magnet with the person or with a caregiver so you are ready to respond in the case of a breakthrough seizure. It is important to be aware of the patient's seizure action plan and doctor's orders. When the person feels a seizure is about to start or during a seizure, you or a caregiver can pass the magnet over the chest area where the generator is implanted. You will be able to feel for the person's VNS through their shirt just below their collarbone and with your other hand. Pass or swipe the magnet over the chest area where the device is implanted for less than two seconds. Count one, 1,000, two, and then immediately remove the magnet from the area of the generator. The mild stimulation is delivered after the magnet is removed. Remember, this can be done over a thin layer of clothing and does not need skin-to-skin -skin contact to work. You have now activated the VNS as programmed. Do not hover or hold the magnet directly on the device. Only swipe slowly. Remember, count one, 1,000, two. It is okay to use the magnet more than once. This will not harm the person or the generator. Continue to swipe the magnet until the seizure stops, pausing briefly between each swipe or according to your doctor's orders. The stimulation produced from the magnet is typically programmed for 30 seconds to one minute. If the seizure continues longer than is typical for the person, follow the person's seizure action plan for further intervention. It is important to remember that the brain has no physical feeling, so the stimulation sent from the VNS to the brain does not hurt. VNS therapy is not a drug and does not have drug-related side effects. VNS therapy is well tolerated and has side effects that usually decrease over time. The most common side effects include hoarseness or change of voice, shortness of breath, sore throat, or coughing. Only use the magnet that is provided. To temporarily suspend stimulation to manage side effects during activities such as singing, public speaking, or exercising, Hold the magnet in place for at least five seconds or tape it in place if told to do so by your healthcare provider. Once the magnet is removed, normal mode operation will resume. Thank you for watching and make sure to reach out to your pharmacist or provider if you have any questions.